Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Ultra and welcome to another CK3 video. Today we're checking out Fate of Iberia, the newest DLC coming out for Crusader Kings 3, our favorite game here on this channel. Um, so it's gonna be a new flavor pack, new mechanics, a whole bunch of new stuff coming up. And with that being said, I'm gonna tell you first and foremost, finish your current playthroughs before the 31st if you want to play this, uh, these new mechanics on release date, okay? They've told us straight up, it's gonna screw up your Iron Man campaigns. So for example, we're doing now our Scotland playthrough on Iron Man. I'm either gonna to have to not update the game and try and you know, turn off automatic updates, or you're gonna to have to finish your campaign playthroughs because they will not be backwards compatible with this new Fate of Iberia. Just letting you know, because that's a question people ask, always ask, it's the number one question asked. It is not compatible with your current Iron Mans, so make sure you, you finish your campaigns. Too sweet. Okay, so, um, all right, Flavor Pack offer you opportunity to decide the fate of the whole peninsula. Yes, yes, we're talking about the Spanish peninsula, Spain here, currently known as Spain. Um, it's going to be dealing with the Christians in the north and the Islamic factions, uh, all the different uh, imams down here, not imams, but um, all the different uh, duchies, Islamic duchies down here in the south. Um, all right, so and the new mechanic is called the struggle. So this is the new thing, Iberian struggle. So it's going to be pushing, it's going to be like a back and forth of different effects as far as I understand. Again, there's gonna be another dev diary coming out I think before the release date to kind of explain this a little bit more. But as I understand it now, there's gonna be a little events that happen um, that you can push back and forth, getting people to convert, using getting hooks on different people, different ways to use, you know, CK3 methods um, to try and push back and forth to try and get more land converted or go up and down this way. Um, as the Christians struggle south and the Islamics struggle pushing north. Um, yeah, so it seems like a very interesting, cool mechanic, and I think they're going to probably end up taking this to other places, but um, very specifically in this region. Actually, they've said somewhere that um, this Spain is the most played region uh, in the entire game, which is kind of interesting. I mean, it makes sense. There's so many amazing nations here. Um, the Spanish ones here, like Portugal there, all these different ones here. So, uh, yeah, I, again, I don't have too much more detail on exactly how the struggle is going to work, but as far as I understand it, it's going to be, like I said, little pop-ups um, here. Like, for example, this one here, Faith Effects, your involved character in the Iberian Struggle. Common Faith Effects, cheaper to convert any involved faith. So this could be like little benefits. It'll be cheaper to, to convert, you know, a new territory if you do this X, Y, or Z type thing. Uh, and I guess you can pay for them. Looks like there's like a monetary value here. Uh, we'll kind of see how it works, but I, I don't know 100%, but that's what it appears to me to be. Um, there's going to be a new 867 bookmark. Okay, revamp the Iberian cast of characters. There's going to be a new tab here, probably, called probably Fate of Iberia. Um, giving players effect to jump in, but struggle will persist into 1066 start date as well. Okay, so look, 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 you can do both. Bookmark lets you choose between different vassals, either the Christian kingdoms or Al Andalus, which is, you know, southern Spain. Each of them offers different starting challenges and choices. For example, in the south, Emir Adanus and Ibn Marwa are both dukes under the Sultanate of Al-Andalus, but they are also neighbors and rivals. Starting off, one of them will certainly apply crossing swords and scheming against the other. This also looks like, uh, can we look at this picture? Yes, Count Herman, okay, I cannot, Her <laughs> Hermando Guitares, uh, Lubin Ibn Musa, Guafre the Harry, Barcelona. Wow, this is actually kind of cool. I actually like this because it's actually new. It's not the typical, you know, Leon, you know, the, the same guys. It's actually different guys here, which is actually really interesting. Uh, looks like, yeah, they changed some hairstyles as well. Um, Jeffrey the Harry, hard. Well, he seems to be someone I'd want to play right away, by the way. It just seems like an awesome looking guy. Um, there's 68, 67 bookmarks. This is what it's going to look like here. I don't have a picture of the 1066. Yeah, as far as I remember, this is one further down. But that's 867 start right here. Okay. Uh, seize the opportunity to update the map, refine the country and duchy divisions as well as other cultures and face. That means the stage is more accurately set for the start of the game. Okay, so that means they've basically reset some of the county series. Yeah, you can see there's new, like they broke them up. They've made smaller, I guess, more accurately shaped counties, uh, which begs the question, why didn't they do that in the first place? Were they just like random? I'm not sure why they had to go back and redo them. Maybe they found, you know, they've got better detailed records. They're able to actually get better border uh, you know, designed here, uh, but they couldn't do that in the South, maybe because they still don't have those historical records. They didn't keep the same type of records in the South here in El Andalus as they did in the Christian kingdoms. Perhaps, I'm not sure exactly why, but they've refined the map to show a little bit more accurate. And it's actually, 
I love this. I like, instead of just being like a blob, like random blobs, look at that. That's so, like, it's, a, it's got like, you know, uniqueness to it. It's awesome. I really like this. So far, so good. The map looks fantastic. I kind of wish they did this here. We did it to a certain extent in some of these places, but like just having like these random, like little thin ones, you know, like where a lord had to sell a parcel of his land to pay. You know what I mean? So it looks very accurate how it would have looked. So I like that. I love that idea. Okay, let's move down. Um, focus on the north. Uh, new culture. Okay, so let's have a look at the new cultures. There is um, Galician. Okay, I cannot. I, again, everybody yells at me about my stupid pronunciations. I apologize. Uh, and Andalusian, which is like the... Um, Islamic factions down here, Castilian, Basque, that's quite Catalan, uh, I can't, Asturleon, okay, so there's quite a few up here, um, I tried to, I wonder, Galatian was always, Galatian was always there, I'm not sure what the new one, Basque, maybe, no, Basque was there too, I'm trying to remember what the new one, what they changed here, new culture setup, um, maybe they just made the blending, the blending of cultures, like you can see Galatian is half, Blended, Castilian's half blended, Catalan's half blended. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure exactly what the change is. Um, new Faith, Mozarabic. So Mozarabic is the New Faith set up here, and I'll kind of go into it. I've got this Britannica article here. So Mozarab, Spanish Christian, um, any Spanish Christians living under Muslim rule, okay, who while converted to Islam adopted Arabic language and culture. Well, there you go. That, that's your answer. What is Mozarabic? It's Christians who adopted Arabic language and culture so it's kind of like a blending. So here's probably pure Islamic faction here, you know, religion, culture, and here's a blend. You know, that kind of plays into the new culture, I guess, where you can they have acceptance of cross cultures. So that's kind of what that is there, the acceptance of cross culture type thing there. Um, interesting, okay, well, how can I see how that plays out? I don't know if you would want to make, I guess it's your choice. You can make the whole peninsula most Arabic or you can go down and make it, you know, you know, uh, Galatian the whole way down. It's up to, I guess it's your playthrough. You kind of kind of see how it is, but starting off, this is what, how it's going to look with a blending of both cultures here. Interesting. Uh, addition of most rapid faith, detail the future dev diary. Yeah, but that's basically what it is, like as I read to you from that Britannica article. Um, excited to go into details coming weeks. All right, but that's it. So that's it for that. Let's actually have a look at the, um, let's have a look, I'm looking at this article here, but let's actually have a look at the, uh, the content here. Okay. So, about the contest, Sunkissed Lands of Iberia, wait your glorious rule, of course, clad in a velvet iron fist, of course, of course it's going to be iron fist, I mean, come on, it's Crusaders Kings 3 here. Um, kingdoms in the northern mountain strongholds to the sumptuous Muslim Taifs, Taif, Taifas, I'm sorry again, of al Andalus immerse yourself in the Crusader Kings 3, fate of Iberia, with a splendor, art, breathe life into Iberian culture, okay. Uh, the struggle, so here it is, the struggle is an expansive new feature found in Crusader Kings 3, fate of Iberia, simulating... Multi-stage, large-scale conflicts across decades or even centuries. Okay, so this is what we can kind of go into and see a little bit about it. You can you tell the ever-evolving saga of Iberia with each decision you make, appeasing or hostile influence with constant turmoil on the peninsula to your liking during each phase of the struggle. Yeah, so, oh, there's going to be phases. I guess you can make decisions on the phase that's going to affect future decisions down the road, kind of like snowballing type thing. That's the, kind of the feeling I'm getting. Uh, could be, again, I'm waiting for that new dev diary to come out to kind of really explain it, but... Follow the path of history with a definite goal, end goal in mind, or play out a completely new fate for the region. Be a founder of Hispania steeped in blood, or bring together a multicultural caliphate of peace. Well, that's up to you, guys. I guess, I mean, you know what we're going to pick, right? You know what we're going to pick. So, uh, well, there that goes. All right. Embrace the uniqueness of Iberia. Step up, discover Iberian pieces are brought to life with new art, music, models, costumes, characters, events, and more. So this is the flavor pack. This is going to be your, uh, the new music, um... And the new sprites, okay? Costumes, you know, clothing. I mean, okay. It's, it's, you know, for me, it's the kind of stuff that, you know, it would be cool if they added that into the original game. You know what I mean? Like, each area has its own kind of costumes and stuff. I get that. But um, these games are not like, you know I mean? These games do cost a fortune to make and to maintain and to continue updating, to continue having interests, right? So, you know what I mean? Like, some people really hate on the DLC policy. I get it. I get both sides of the argument. Um... You know, I don't think this one's overly expensive. I think it's, you know, fairly well priced, at least in my area. So it's not like a crazy, crazy, you're not buying a new game with it. You're buying just kind of like a flavor pack with a new mechanic. It's basically, it. it's all, and that's what they're charging you for. So I think this one will probably end up being worth it. We'll kind of have to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I, this kind of stuff, I live for this. I love having, you know, cultural, regional 
costumes, regional music, regional art, all that stuff. It's beautiful. I love it. All right, so let's have a look here. A dazzling array of new thematic events, decisions, and cultural traditions unique to Iberia can be explored. Historically accurate, meticulously researched. That is like a feather in my cap. I love that. Historically accurate. Like, you know, I'm not one of these but my history kind of guys, but like, I mean, I kind of am. I love that. So it's going to be, whatever the pop-ups are, it's going to have an actual historical reference to the region. It's not going to be some random thing. Okay, good. I like that. Dress up your character as a true Hidalgo or a Muslim prince. Choose your pick from well-groomed beards, curly hair, armor. So it's going to be basically the, the hairstyle, the turban style, uh, headgear of the region, all historically accurate clothing that they would have worn. Um, a host of new 3D models. There it is, the sprites, the new 3D soldiers. I guess they're going to have custom, uh, you know, like special Spanish, you know, armored knights type thing. Uh, and they're going to have like all Andalusian uh, special sprites. Um, oh, new holdings. Oh, that I do like. The castles will be reflective of the region too. That's awesome. Units, okay, the units is the, is the soldiers. Ships, interesting. Interesting, because all the ships in the game now are pretty much like French barks. Like, I, you know, when I did my Africa playthrough, there was like, um, the war canoes were French barks. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't get over that. I was like, it seems so stupid. <laughs> like, just put a canoe in there. It doesn't have to be like the most detailed canoe, but put some kind of canoe in there. But the, the fact that they're gonna have special sprites for the ships is very, very well thought out. Thank you very much. I like that. All right. Not only are a series of new Iberian inspired artifacts, heirlooms, treasures, yours for the taking. Okay, so this is part of the new royal court. So it's going to link royal court with this by putting in new uh, Spanish artifacts, heirlooms, etc., etc. A new throne, council weapons, treasures, other themed customization options will enrich your courtroom even further. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Uh, last one is get carried away by the richly themed soundtrack as you admire studying new art. Okay, so um, all in all, I mean, it looks pretty fantastic. I mean, we can see a couple screenshots here. Here's the struggle picture. Can we see this a bit closer? Yes, we can. Um, status quo. Endless conflicts over the peninsula only weakens us. You gain the pragmatic, uh-huh. And, oh, this is the end. End the struggle. Holy war for duchy conqueror, Casabella against other things. Uh, dynasty gains 250 renown. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, there's different things you can do. I guess you can, Detente, Aragonian Dominance. I mean, there's so many different little effects. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to play out, but it looks fantastic. Look, this must be one of these new beards, too. One of the new artwork beards. Uh, current phase compromise. Yeah, there's just, I guess there's phases where there's different pop-ups you can make decisions uh, and how to advance. That's so interesting. Let's see what else we can look at here. Um, all right, so we saw this one here. Here is Iberian Struggle. Okay, Iberian uh, Princess in Turmoil. Conflict is born of its story past. Uh, can I make that actually bigger? Is it possible? Is that it? No, sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to figure out if I can make this bigger. Ugh, I'm clicking too many times. There we go. All right. Um, I will not set my vision of the homeland. Take hold of faith. This must be the start of the campaign. Uh, inputs. I guess you could input maybe different things. You, you know, you can click on, you can make a war decision, a cultural decision, a faith decision type thing in that struggle. We'll kind of see how that goes. Um, struggle involvement. Okay, I guess you can bring in other people in the area, involve them into your campaign. Interesting. Current phase compromise. It's like a weird angle of this map here, right? Uh, status quo. We saw beautiful game chess. So here's like a random pop up that might occur. Uh, you'll be playing chess against like a, a cross faction type guy, and then whatever happens, the result will affect your struggle, you know, long term. Interesting. Champion of the faith of the country Basque. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. So what will you get with this? Practice of the path. Completely control counties. I'm not sure. Champion the faith. I guess it, it makes like it converts it. I'm not sure. It's so interesting. So many different different things are gonna happen. Oh, and there's a new, there's there's new uh, legacies here. I can't see what they are. I can't see what they are, but there's like metropolitan cities are the reflection of their builder's refinement. Okay, so it's like city building. Strength that binds a house. Quateri. I don't know what that is though. I don't know what these are. And then there's the new customs one. Wow, new like two new tiers. Wow, fantastic. Um, clothing and headgear. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that crow. Look at that dome. <laughs> this is like what a Spanish knight looked like, I guess. Uh, Spanish princess or queen. Uh, I don't know. That's the queen there or the empress. That's like a crazy looking crown. Uh, okay. Uh, very interesting. 
and uh, new turbans, new crowns. Okay. Authentic designs. And here's the last screenshot. Okay, so, oh, these all, this must be all, well, this is not Catholic, but this, oh, this is kind of like an ax there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And here's the next one here. So they've got like a crazy crowd. I guess it's all authentic. It's what they wore. I don't know. Oh, with the little fez. Genius. I love that. That's awesome. All right, well, guys, this is super fantastic. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Um, is there a sh going to show me? I'm kind of looking to see if, it's, if I can see like a price on this, but I don't think it's a, I don't see a price yet. Uh, bundle pass. I'm going to see. Oh, $7.99. There it is there. Yeah. So um, like I said, it's not expensive. It'll probably be, if you're in the U.S., it'll be cheaper in U.S. dollars than what I pay up here in Canada. Um, it, it, it's not an expensive. For the amount of that I can see that they're going to give you, the amount of artwork, the amount of, like, even if you don't play this mechanic, you don't like it, you just want these costumes for, like, Spain. You know what I mean? The most played region in the entire game for $7.99. Like, I, I think that's, that's probably going to be worth it. Again, I can't say for certain until I play it. But it looks pretty great so far. Um, so that's just my little quick rundown of everything that we've seen so far with the fate of Iberia. Hopefully this new dev diary is going to come out uh, shortly. Uh, and we can kind of see what else is going to happen. But yeah, this is one we've already looked through. I, again, I'm waiting to see a little bit more detailed explanation of the struggle. That's going to be the main focal point of this of this campaign. It's going to be this new struggle mechanic. But once this new, this latest Dev Diary comes out after this one, I guess, uh, we'll kind of have a look at it again and kind of see where we're standing. But so far, everything looks fantastic. Um, and I'll catch you guys in game.